Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video we're going to be trying color changing hair dye. I've tried color changing hair dye before and I got scammed. So if you have not seen that video, I'll leave a link to it right up here for you guys. Basically, I bought color changing hair dye. You guys were tagging me in this video on TikTok and you guys were like, I want to see this. So I went ahead and bought every color and they were buying hair dye in bulk off of AliExpress, selling it for a lot more expensive. And the colors I got weren't even the colors in the tube. I'm talking like totally different. Like I was supposed to get white and black and I got pink and purple. Like it was a hot mess. So then you guys started tagging me in another video and this one seems so much more legit. Okay, let me show you. I got every color they had also for you guys. This one is Morphos professional change color heat activated hairspray so here is the packaging you guys tagged me in a couple videos of this asking me to try it and it seems legit i'm excited i bought this one off of amazon not off of some random small website there are three different colors here the first one is purple to pink the second one is green to yellow, and then we have green to blue. I haven't opened these up yet and explored at all, but let's go ahead. Here is what the packaging looks like. It's just an aerosol can, which is also different from the previous um, hair dye I tried. That one was like a cream, and you were supposed to apply it on damp hair and then blow dry it into the hair, which would not have worked like it, there's just a consistency and it would not have worked in the hair like that your hair would have been like greasy and crunchy and stuff so already this seems like a much better idea i will say the packaging does look dirty on some of these but it's okay as long as it works i don't care so here's what the packaging looks like and then inside the box they just have these little pamphlets telling you about the product on the back here it shows the different ones right here you see the different um, options and it just says shake apply and blow dry so it seems super super simple I'm gonna try all three colors for you guys today I'm excited it seems easy just to shake it up and spray it directly on the hair it seems like a much better formulation and everything than a cream or like a gel or something I'm just gonna read the directions to make sure that's all we have to do and it's nothing else <laughs> I am just gonna read you this because the wording is kind of funny it says more froze hair color change spray has a special formula that changes color with the effect of temperature with this formula when applied with a spray sauce <laughs> like what <laughs> anyway when applied with a spray sauce it becomes yellow and with temperature effect when it is in green color on the back right here it says it's made in turkey so that's where it's from how to use shake the box thoroughly and spray on your hair equally from the distance of 15 to 20 centimeters i love that the packaging is holographic that is totally my jam. So I guess let's go ahead and apply this. It says all you have to do is shake and spray. So let's go for it. Okay, let's shake it up. Okay, I see a little bit of something. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you guys. I had nightmares all night last night that I used this and it permanently stained my hair and it didn't come out of my hair. So yeah there's that i literally had nightmares all night last night that i ruined my hair and i could not get this out of my hair but i think it'll come out i'm not too worried this is so much easier than the other one so i'm gonna do green like right here and i'll do the blue one right here oh yeah It said to hold it like 15 to 20 centimeters away, but I feel like when you do that, it doesn't show up as well on the hair. You kind of have to get pretty close for the green to show up really well. As soon as it touches my skin, it turns like yellow. This is exciting and so much easier. All right, I'm gonna stop there on this side. I'm gonna go in with the purple and pink. expecting that that is uh oh insanely powerful okay wow this one works so much better than the green one smells just like the aerosol cans you get when you go trick-or-treating and you like want colorful hair for a night all right let's do the blue and the green i don't know if this comes out blue or green i think it comes out green oh see this one works better than the green and yellow too look at that 
That is so much darker. There's that one. I'm literally getting this everywhere. All right, here we're going back in with the yellow and green. This stuff is leaking all over my hands. This one, you guys can see, it's like dripping all over the bottle. And every time I spray it, it's like leaking at the bottom of the nozzle. This one seems to be off. So that's not bad. Only one product isn't that great out of the three we purchased. It's working a little bit better now. Let me finish up this side and then we'll blow dry it in. Oh, this one's leaking too. It's like very cloudy in here now. I look like the Joker, but let's go ahead and blow dry this. I'm just gonna use a low setting. Oh, you can see it changing already. This one's so much cooler. Let's do this side. Oh, you go. And this one's changing blue. You're kidding. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, this is so much better than the other one, please. Oh my gosh, and it's like a neon yellow. Oh, these colors are like neon. Like this isn't even just like a pink, it's like so incredibly neon pink. I hope you guys can pick it up on camera how insanely neon this is. This is like the most like neon pink I've ever seen. And the yellow also is very neon and the blue is very pigmented. Like, oh my gosh, this stuff works so good. So yeah, this works really well. The only complaints I have, the top leaks, like I said, like when you're continuously spraying it a lot, it leaks out of the top. You guys can see like around the base here, there's like purple all over because it was just like leaking down the side. So it can get pretty messy. It was like leaking all over my hands and on my lap, but it's a temporary hairspray. It washes out really easily. This one seems to work the best, the blue and the green and the purple and the pink. I would probably skip out on this one because I feel like I used so much product and it didn't really coat the hair that well. Whereas these two, like one spray and it shows up and it's super pigmented. Another thing I would suggest, if you want your whole head to be a color, Obviously section off your hair first, like take sections like this, spray that section, take another section, spray that. I am not obviously doing my whole head. I just wanted to see if it worked. So I only did like the front parts and I did not section them, but definitely if you wanna wear it all night or whatever, section your hair off properly. And you're probably gonna need a couple cans of this to do your whole head. My hair does feel not the greatest. If you've ever used spray at like a Halloween store or something like that, it feels exactly like that. My hair just feels like very, very dry and powdery. I'm gonna add some more in here. <laughs> I mean, look at that though, one spray and it's so dark. Let me try, I'm gonna try more of the green. Definitely not holding the trigger down helps. If you just do little spurts with this, definitely makes a difference and it doesn't leak as much. If you hold it down and continuously spray, that's when it started leaking more. So if you just do little spritz like I did, it doesn't seem to be leaking, which is good. I'm gonna try doing a hand print. I'm not gonna use a flat iron because I don't want to put heat on my hair since I just bleached it. I don't wanna like sizzle areas, but let's try doing a little hand print action. Maybe like this. See if the heat of my hand will do this because last time this did not work. My hand was not hot enough to cause a reaction, but I can literally already see my hand print coming through on here. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> You can literally see my handprint. Like what? So last time it seemed like you had to have a big temperature difference, like super hot or super cold for it to show up. But this, you don't need much. Like literally my hands aren't even that warm and it's showing up really well. Let's try this side. I feel like this side's gonna work really, really well. I can literally already see it like around my fingers. I can see the pink coming through. <gasps> You can see my palm print and everything. Oh my gosh, that works so good. Even when I hold my hair like this to like spray it, there's like a fingerprint line right there. So there is the color changing hair dye in case you guys were curious. This one is definitely the best one I have tried and it's also temporary, which is nice. So I'll leave a link to these color changing hair dyes in the description down below. From what I remember, they weren't that expensive and they're definitely fun to just like change your hair up or specifically for Halloween, it's coming up. So I think 
it's really cool and it's definitely fun to like play with and stuff. I'm gonna go rinse this out real quick and come back and show you guys and make sure it's rinsed out all the way. So let me go rinse this and see if it comes out of my hair. I will be right back. All right, you guys, I am back. And let me tell you, that did come out of my hair, obviously, but it was not easy to come out of my hair at all. I went and tried washing my hands first and it did not come off my hands very well at all. I was scrubbing with dish soap and it was hard to come off my hands and I was like, great. <laughs> then I went and washed my hair and I thought I'd be able to just like rinse it out real quick, like simple, easy, just rinse it out real quick and it'll come out with water. Absolutely not. Nothing came out with water. There must be like a hairspray in here because the only way it came out was with shampoo and I had to shampoo my hair like four times to get all of it out of my hair because it was just so stubborn. So I mean, that's a good thing because it does come out of your hair, but it takes a little bit more effort to get it out of your hair. It doesn't just like fall right out. So if you get caught in the rain or something on Halloween, or if you're wearing this and it's raining, you should be fine, honestly. I think once it dries, you probably won't have to worry about transfer or it bleeding on other things. It has some type of like hairspray additive into it. Once it's completely dried down, it's set and you don't have to worry about it, which is good. It's like one of the best um, color changing hair dyes I've tried. I also feel like this might work on dark hair because it is an aerosol and you're spraying it onto something. So it might work on darker hair better than like the creams would. If you're looking for a color changing hair dye, I recommend these ones. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until next time, guys, stay weird. Bye. Hi.